Okay, so in our last video, we got to the stage where we have some text on the HUD, and once the player collects a star, the score will increment. So now we're going to focus on, on formatting this text. And um, I'd like you to go to the site, so get access to Figma. Um, it doesn't really matter if you use this, actually. You can use Photoshop, you can use Sketch, Adobe XD, it doesn't really matter. Um, Figma is just free and works in the browser. So go ahead and sign up. I already have, so um, I'm going to use this blank slate here. Uh, hit the um, A shortcut on the keyboard, and then we're going to make something like an artboard that's 1080. Um, sorry, 1280, the size of our game. Okay, add some text here. Make it score 99. And at this point, let me actually make the browser smaller because I can't see anything. At this point, let's change the font to white, uh, make the text a bit bigger, say about 24, and change the position of this to about here. So this um, grey background is going to repl replicate our game screen, and this is where our text is going to go. So remember these numbers, so remember 31, 32, 131. So this is our x, y, and our width. So let's go back into our code. Now we've got the HUD here. Let's put our export y our width as well. I've forgotten what that was. 1v1 and our font size was 24. So once we save that, rebuild our game. Uh, hopefully it will match this kind of size. Also, let's just change the font as well to open, open science. There you go. So now if I hard refresh the game, there we go, so it's a bit bigger. But now we need to change the font. And there are two ways that we can do this. The first way is if we use Flexel Assets to, to change the font. So you can do Flexel Assets, like so, um, and get the font default variable and make it um, open sounds like so. So the reason this is working is because I have Open Sans installed on my machine already. But if you don't, you have to do it a different way. Uh, so let's show you the game. There you go. So that's how that works. But if you don't have Open Sans, go ahead and go to Google Fonts, do a search for Open Sans, and download everything here, the whole family. I think I should already have it in my downloads folder. So once you've done that. Um, you can, my thing is up here at the moment, so let me bring it down here, get my finder, so you should have, should have access to all this stuff. Um, let's go into game and inside data, make a new folder called fonts, sorry, inside assets, and open that inside the finder or whatever um, device you're using. Let's grab um, fonts and just grab regular at the moment because that's all we're going to use. Put that inside here. Okay, so now we don't need any of these finders, and what we can do instead is reference this. Where's my mouse? Reference um, our fonts. So we'll do assets, fonts, uh, open sans, regular.tff. So Flixel um, usually only accepts TFF files, so if you have anything else, um, like WUFs or WUFs2, I don't think they'll work. But anyway, uh, TTF, not TFF. There we go. Okay. So once that's done, it will load up the font. The benefit of doing it this way is the whole game now has this font. So I Ideally, this would be in general kind of spots, so maybe inside level state or something like that. HUD isn't the best place for it, but um, that's one way you can change the font. The second way you can do it is if you um, do something called set format, and that's available in the um, with the uh, FLX text. And you can load up the font here in the exact same way. The problem with doing it this way, or one slight disadvantage, is it sets a default size here is 8, so we have to probably get rid of this one, and override that default size with 24. 
to save that. Okay, and once we refresh the game, you'll see it's now using that font. So this way, the set format way, will only affect this font. So if you want a specific font for a specific text, this is the best way to do it. Or specific size, or as you can see here, color, um, alignment, whatever. This is the best way to do it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, and even though I said we shouldn't do this, I'm going to go ahead and use this because I want our whole game to have this font. So that's it. Um, now, as you can see, whenever I collect a star, it will increment and we have our heart. I've just noticed a bug here. I spelled score differently. It's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, so now that we've done this, the next thing to do is to add a kind of end goal. So what I want is for when you collect all the stars, for it to say level complete, and then you can move on to the next level. So we'll work on that in the next video. Thanks for watching.